Hey guys, so I just want to show you the different use of hiding in elements and section in Elementor. And yeah, that can be done by obviously clicking the edit with Elementor if you want to hide something. And now let's jump in first with hiding the section internally. Like if you want to focus on the specific columns, what you can do in here, like if this navigation is not visible, you can always click this part here, this icon to make this navigation visible. So let's say you want to focus on this area, then what you can do is just hide the other elements that you don't want to work on first again this is globally um, this is for internal purpose only it will not affect the website so it's a good practice that you are hiding things up so you can focus on just one blocks at the time so when you're good in that then maybe you can work on this other section as well okay so that's how the the first use of hide uh, and show um, elements in Elementor or show, hide and show function in Elementor. Now let's jump in on hiding it really on the front end. So to do that, you click this square dots in here and then you go into the advanced section where you can see our responsiveness. So on the responsiveness, you have an option whether you want it to hide it on desktop only or maybe you want it to really hide it in every um devices okay you want to if you want to make it visible in mobiles then you can make that um you can turn that off and you will notice this this one is working because it's grayed out in in desktop and even we um click the responsive mode option if it's in desktop it's grayed out which means it's hide or it's hidden if we put it on the tablet it's still hidden but when we select the mobile view you see that the banner pop up so yeah that's how it works and if you have any question don't forget to hesitate and message me down below i'll be happy to answer it during my spare time